Hi, it's Gwen Fox. I am so glad that you're here and welcome. And if this is your first time, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. Now, I have a question for you. You are selling your work and you're working on being this, you're working on making money with your art. And somebody sees a piece of your art and they say, how much is that? And you tell them, and guess what? They say, are you kidding? I can't afford that. Your paintings are just too expensive. Really? My paintings are too expensive. Well, this causes you to either do, well, what would you like to pay for it? Or it causes you to stand your ground. Because number one, if your painting, if you are sure about your painting's price, you're going to stand your ground. And you're going to stand it in a very gentle way. You're going to listen to what they say. Now, you've got to remember, not everybody's going to like your work. Not everybody's going to want to buy your work. Now, people may want to buy your work for cheap, but cheap doesn't make for good conversation. There is something to be said for in the, the integrity of who you are and the integrity of your price. And you best believe that your prices are perfect. You are comfortable with not only the price, but you're comfortable with the painting being that price, that having integrity. And let me tell you, your collectors are going to really, you're going to want to do this for your collectors. But let's do some pros and cons here. Let's say that you that you give in and let's say you charge for what you're worth. So if you give in, what does it do for you? It uh, what does it do? It you've broken your boundary, it breaks your boundaries. And once you've broken that boundary, they are in control, not you. You need to be sure of your price and be comfortable with it. This is the short game. Giving in is a short game. And this is not where you want to be. But now let's say that you need the money, that you 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 haven't sold in a long time. You would love to have a sale. You would love to say that, oh yes, I sold at that show. Let's say that you are in need of money and they want to buy this, but they've said, oh no, it is way too expensive. So what do you do? Do you sell it at the price? Do you really uh, give a deep discount just to get rid of it or just to say you've sold it or just to get the money? That is the short game. Charging for what your painting is worth. You've done the homework. You know, you know what your painting is worth. You know the painting that others are charging for this size. You know their, their caliber meets the same caliber as yours. So you have, you are comfortable with the price. This is important. Because when you're comfortable with it, you can say it with conviction that it's $3,000. This is the long game. This is the long game that you want to play as a business person. And you are a business person. You are the CEO of your own company. You want to make money and you want to be fair, and you want them to buy your work. Now, I know that pricing is extremely hard for all of us. I mean, there's not, a, there's not an artist that I coach or teach that doesn't ask the question, what do I charge for my work? So I'm going to talk about this in the next video next week. So be sure and stay tuned because you want to hear this because there are lots of ways to, to do it. 
but what is the way for you and what is the best way in order to be congruent for with, with what you think and what you feel about your art. Here's the skinny on selling your work. There's always going to be somebody that thinks it's too much money. There's always going to be somebody that wants a deal. You're not in this for the deals. And you're honestly not in this for the person that always thinks that it's too much. You know that your work is worth what you've charged. We've talked about that. You know that. Another thing is that you do not ever have to justify the cost of your work. This is a very important thing for you to remember. Never feel that you have to justify your price. You don't have to say what it's put on, that it's professional. You can if you want, but that would be information. But don't ever do it to justify, to make it make yourself feel better and make them feel better. If they ask, what is it on? That's fine. As I said, cheap does not make for good conversation. And if you start out really cutting your prices, you will never get out of that habit. Now, there's one thing that really, really, really irritates me, and that's seeing starving artists sale. Starving artists sale? Okay, you're a starving artist, and now you're having a sale on the on the paintings that you were selling as a starving artist, which is very little, and you're having a sale on that? Really? I can guarantee you one thing. Somebody's going to walk in and they're going to see your nice big painting that you have put $50 on, and they're going to say, hmm, will you take 45 There is the integrity part that is super, super important. Your collector's Depend on your integrity. You want to have integrity. It is your business for the long haul. So when somebody says it's too expensive, you just accept that and let them talk. They may talk themselves out of it being expensive, but you need, now if you want to give a 10% discount, that, that's great. But don't go any lower than that. This is your business. And you need to treat it as a business. I hope this has helped. I want you to feel confident in yourself when you give the price. I want you to say it with confidence because it is your painting and it is worth it. So go out there and do it. Leave a comment below and let me know if you have problems stating the price. And I love, love to hear your comments. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.